Hoji here with the Hoji Free. Gonna do show you how to do a quick fitting mod um, to create a bit more room in the ankle pocket. It seems to be a common uh, theme that people have. They find the boot a bit tight in the ankle pocket. So there's a way that you can improve this. All you need is a heat gun and a couple uh, large C clamps or quick clamps. Um, and basically, what you're trying to do is bring the surfaces of the upper part of the shell out so that they're they become more flush with the actual contours of the inner surface of the cup. So there's a large offset here on the front. Uh, it's for obviously for ankle retention, but uh, could be a little small for some people. So basically, what you want to do is put the cuff in walk mode and push it as far back as you can and you want to try and access um, getting heat to these two regions here on the inside of the upper part of the shell um, and you want to try to avoid really heating up the cuff in that area if you can um, but yeah this plastic molds super well and it usually only takes a couple minutes with the heat gun to uh, to get it to where it's pliable and you can clamp it. And you just want to be aware it is easy. If you're used to molding normal polyurethane alpine boots, this plastic uh, tends to take less heat, um, less time with the heat gun to get it to the moldable state. I like to use my bare hands so I can kind of feel and I just check it every couple minutes that's getting pretty close once it gets uh, kind of pliable by hand usually you can see here I'm already able to push that out just with my bare hand um, and the plastic is is hot to the touch but not I'm not burning myself the plastic when you heat it up too much it'll actually start to bubble and it's very easy to uh, determine that you've gone too far we're getting there so yeah, once once you've got it to a good temperature where you can actually, you can kind of feel it with your hand that it's pliable, clamp the inner shell surface to the cuff in kind of that big offset area. You can see this offset that I'm talking about. That can cause a lot of ankle pain um, and problems with walking and skiing. So some people with higher volume ankles and bigger circumference legs, you can do this modification and make the boot a lot more comfortable. Yeah, you want to watch the cables here. You don't want to clamp right on the cables. And usually for me on the lateral side of the boot, the outside of your leg, I use a secondary clamp a bit lower down here just to increase it even a bit more because I find this side a little bit tight. Once you have it in this stage clamped together, it looks good. Uh, I tend to just heat warm it with the heat gun a little bit and then I, I just let this uh, cool down in the air usually for about 20 or 30 minutes. Um, if you're in a hurry you could use cold water or uh, snow of course but be aware you'll make the inside of the boot wet if you do that. A little extra heat once it's clamped to the position that you want. It doesn't take much. Uh, the key to this operation is trying to heat the inside of the lower shell both on the inside and outside. Moving the cuff into the full rearward position in walk mode helps you access that plastic and, and kind of minimize how much you're heating the cuff plastic itself. You want to heat the shell more than the cuff, of course. You're trying to mold the shell plastic to the cuff. Um, and then it's critical to put it back into ski mode so that the guiding wings of the actual internal mechanism, the lock spoiler, we call it the piece of plastic that slides down and activates the ski position here. Those guiding wings need to be in between the shell and the cuff uh, when you do this. So it all kind of molds in the position that it's going to end up in. The boot on the left is the unmodified shell. And you can clearly see the big offset between the shell surface and the cuff surface that can fit a sharpie in between and the boot on the right has been modified and now the inner surface of the shell uh, matches more closely the inner surface of the cup all right andre <laughs> 20 minutes or so just take it apart at the trailhead remove the clamps and uh, you're ready to go
A little more ankle volume there. Thanks. Easy. Let's go skiing. Okay.